Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 2 Woe to the Church called Roman and Catholic! May 14, 2005 From the Lord, our God and Savior A letter given to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord Beware, O peoples of the church called Mother For she is a harlot, a false way A deceitful house filled with both great and subtle deceptions Be wary, rouse yourselves from this heavy sleep And look upon the fruit of your doings For you have been greatly misled Caught up in a faith which is dead There is no life in it for as it was written by my servant, so in like manner I now plead with you. Depart from the way of evil, from the man who speaks perverse things, from those who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the perversity of the pagan, whose ways are crooked and who are devious in their paths. Be delivered from the adulterous woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words, who forsakes the husband of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house is sinking down to death, and all her paths lead to the dead. Therefore thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, to all who have ears to hear. This unholy church of men is a harlot. From the beginning she has been a whore. Yet she would have all believe she is a queen, even the true church and mother. Indeed, she has bore many sons and daughters, daughters who yet bear her likeness, and many sons who shall go to perdition, false fathers and priests, who by their own authority take to themselves proselytes, who they then make twice as fit for destruction as themselves. Behold, deception is hidden within deception as she continues to build up her sins toward heaven. For I tell you a mystery, filled with corruption, abuse of power, and contemptible ways. This church of men is like the woman who rides the beast. She is clothed with purple and scarlet, enticing the people to commit fornication with her. Yet to her own, she is a queen who sits upon my throne and has taken to herself my authority, perverting my word, and changing my commandments, as she appoints kings and princes in her own name, each with names of blasphemy upon their heads, so-called holy fathers, who shall go into perdition with her. And yet to those against her, she is the beast. Yet I tell you the truth, all are deceived. For her power and authority come from the beast, which atop she sits. For she has many names of blasphemy, and all her works are an abomination before the Lord. She is indeed a harlot, and her adulteries are many. Behold, she is also like the great whore who sits upon many waters, who has corrupted the earth with her fornications. And like the false prophet, she spews perverse and bitter doctrine, leading many into false worship, even to the committing of fornication with the pagan and the heathen by all her filthy traditions. And like the beast, she has shed the blood of my servants throughout her generations, and has not ceased from opening her mouth to speak great things and blasphemies with a practiced and lying tongue, by which she has deceived many. Therefore, I must take my people out of her. Behold, I shall snatch them from her very breast. For she is also like Babylon, adorning herself with gold and precious stones and pearls, having in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the filthiness of her fornications. Thus says the Lord to the deceptive harlot, to the mother of all fornications, Woe, I say to you, even three times, woe! For the atheist shall have it far better than you, when the wrath of the great and dreadful God has come. For when they seek forgiveness, they shall surely find it. Yet woe to you who blaspheme the Spirit! From you forgiveness has fled away, 
Behold, destruction waits for you as you continue to tread the wide path. For you believe yourself to be a glorious vine, yet your roots are full of rottenness, a vine of deceit, with many tendrils spreading forth abomination. Behold, you see yourself as a sovereign nation, as the mother church, universal, and yet you willingly go into captivity and hold fast in your rebellion. Therefore, I shall make you a desolation and an astonishment, an object of horror and hissing. I shall strip you bare. And behold, you shall become an island, a most desolate place amidst the nations. No more shall anyone draw near to you, nor shall any attempt to pass through, for all shall keep their distance for fear of your punishment. Every traveler shall go round about, horrified at the smoke of your burning. For thus says the Lord, I have set you apart for judgment. I have separated you out for death, for sorrow, and for famine, until the fire of my wrath consumes you. For you have caused my beloved to depart from me. You have turned them aside from the way. You have caused them to trust in fables, and to put their hope in lies and false visions, in worthless things. The truth is not in you, and from the life you are far removed. You have pierced my heart with a hot iron. You have battered and bruised me and torn my flesh. My sadness fills the heavens like the unending blackness. My tears cover the earth like the oceans because of you. My anger wells up within me like a raging fire on account of all these you have persecuted and murdered throughout your generations. Indeed, the cup of my indignation overflows on account of all you have done and are about to do, says the Lord. And still I sent to you many in my own name, that you might be saved from yourself. Yet you rejected them all, beating some and killing others, casting them out in your pompous rage. You will not turn, and so the Father has declared your end. Woe to the church called Mother! Woe to you and your appointed leaders! Woe to you and all your holy fathers! Woe to the church called Roman and Catholic! Woe to the church full of dead man's bones! For I have prepared a great fire, and behold, it is already kindled. And you, along with all who cleave to you, shall surely be cast into it, says the Lord.